How's it going, everybody? And welcome to the Ride Along with Ronan 47R. We are jumping into uh, a little game here with the, the Kaiju, which is the Tier 6 Japanese Premium Tank, also known as Strange Beast. And uh, we're over here on uh, port uh, during the winter, snow time. Good times had by all. And here's the lucky thing is I'm, uh, I'm top tier. So here's where this uh, tank can really shine doing some solo work. But, um, you know, as the title indicated, uh, if you saw it earlier, um, turned out to be a pretty good game. So uh, go ahead and sit back and let's relive this thing. Or at least I get to relive it. It was, <laughs> it was pretty fun. Um, this tank here is, for me at least, is pretty hit and miss as far as, you know, it's, it's not the fastest tank. And it can be penned um, by upper tier tanks. You do get to see up to tier 8, so it can be a very challenging tank to play. Uh, when you're seeing folks, uh, tanks at your own tier, uh, not too shabby. I mean, you can do really well, um, and you feel very confident uh, in this tank. So, you know, it's kind of hit and miss. Being in the right place at the right time. Um, it's not tog slow, but uh, it is kind of slow. So you need, to, you need to be in a position uh, where you can actually put your gun into play because uh, you're not really going to run across the map. Now, in this particular game, you can see there is a ton of folks coming out the uh, the northwest here in the uh, the A B line and the uh, the one two three line there. Uh, at the top, we do have a couple folks in place over on C one and D one, etc. And uh, I'm kind of taking a position here as I go towards the action uh, that I like to play that allows me to see down to the east here and you know on the way there uh, see if I can get some opportunistic shots. And there you go, you can see that really nice gun in the three hundreds. Uh, hitting that heavy tank down there, and there's a tier 6 and another tier 6. So there you go. Good to go, good to go. So there's uh, some action being had here to my right. I'm looking at the mini-map, seeing that the uh, the heavy tank is really being swarmed. I mean, this it looks like a uh, the Walking Dead horde here. Uh, gun depression is pretty decent. You do have those guns uh, in the front of the tank that you deal with. And there you go. Took one of them, uh, another one off the map. So now up to, uh, to two kills there, and trying to maximize my hull down experience you can see how I am ricocheting some shots um, but it's pretty much me and a heavy tank to my right against all of the what two four six ish uh, reds that are still left um, did not want to go broadside I uh, didn't want to push it so I'm gonna pull back get a little better position it wasn't worth getting one more pen so I feel like I was gonna get pretty injured so uh, folks were getting really greedy and trying to uh, to attack me there um, got a good shot on that guy just a little moment ago um, and this uh, this tank here to my left was trying to peek around so I rushed forward to try to take advantage of getting uh, even more uh, in the depression of uh, the topography there and now it looks like he's gonna sneak around to the right to try to get the drop on me what I'm doing is I'm trying to uh, decrease the angle of attack um, that I'm gonna have on the enemy by going in reverse so that if I have to look left or right the angle is going to be minimized now I can kind of keep the whole the further I go back the more I can keep the scene in front of me I think that guy no that I did not pin on that one I actually bounced off that ram too which was pretty crazy and then you have this uh, this T1 heavy got a nice shot into his lower glacius there nice ricochet by that tier 6 tank and I just have a sliver there. Wasn't sure if I wanted to unleash. And for whatever reason, that guy gave me the side of his turret. I took advantage of it. Guys are moving south and trying to sweep around. Um, luckily, I'm not being swarmed, though. It's pretty weird. Taking advantage of that. And uh, then you have this medium tank peeking up and over. Now, he has very good turret armor. So I didn't want to risk shooting him there. Got a TD. I was able to take him off the map right quick. And then we still have the uh, the medium tanks there that are moving back and forth. And there are some folks off into the south uh, as well. Did get a side shot into that tank. And there were some folks, uh, so a few tanks down there in the HJ line or so. So I had to keep uh, as much as possible my tank facing the enemy to maximize the deflection of my armor against that same tier or lower tier uh, shells that were coming in. I was aware of the light tank that was sweeping around pretty fast here. Uh, he's now in the C line, uh, D line there, the 2-3. And it's almost like he, he didn't know where I was for sure. I'm getting kind of spotted. He's looking around. Too late for him. 
absolutely devastated. He is done. Now it's just down to uh, three tanks left on the enemy team. Myself uh, on our team and a tank destroyer. He's off in the distance. Not much help that he can uh, give me with the enemy being so close to me uh, that I can tell. Here we go. Got a nice shot into that tier 5 medium tank. And uh, again, you can see I'm really playing with the topography, trying to stay as low as possible. And now I have three guys. Two guys I know where they are. Fairly uh, in the same direction, you know, in front of me. Did not want to waste my shot on his turret. It's possible that I can maybe get something in there, but I really was waiting for the right, uh, right time. And then to my far left, you can see there is the third guy. Taking a few hits, taking some ricochets. Have to make a decision. Who am I going to be able to take off the map? Uh, missed that one or ricochet. Didn't quite see it. So I'm taking some more damage here. Some of it's into the tracks. Uh, nothing life-threatening. Now, were these guys to all three of them rush me at once, they would have been able to take me, but they didn't. Able to take off uh, the map there, that last tank. And uh, now it's just two tanks. The one on the far right is trying to be sneaky and sweep all the way around, which is a smart move to make. He did get a shot in there. But uh, the one to my left, which is no longer in sight, uh, he's not really working with him. And I figure if I can take him out before I get um, surrounded, uh, flanked, uh, I'm good to go. So I went ahead and focused on him, and now it's just one-on-one. -on -one. Well, battle-wise, I mean, I know there's two greens left, but you can see my TD um, has slowly moved from the east to the west through the, uh, the GH line. Uh, the enemy is a somewhere in maybe B2 or something like that. Now, I'm not going to be able to chase him down, but the map is finite. I'm really looking for the TD to help me out, and um, I would prefer him not to kill him, obviously, because I'm up to uh, to eight kills, and I'd like to try to try to get as many as possible, because that's always fun for obvious reasons. But I do need his eyeballs, uh, and he does, uh, he does allow for that, uh, being that he is alive and on the map. Now that last tank uh, is just too far uh, for me. That tier 6 medium tank is just too far for me to get the shots on uh, in time. Terrible aim time with this. Terrible dispersion. Um, not very accurate uh, of a gun on this uh, uh, kaiju. So I really have to get up close. And I have plenty of hit points to spare. So really this is... Uh, this is my game. Um, I, I'm not too concerned. I could uh, almost be reckless. The name of the game here, of course, is can you catch him before your own teammate kills him? That's really what it's about. Or can you catch him before he runs around and just outmaneuvers you? So I'm going to go ahead and knock down some of these walls just in case that is impeding my uh, my line of sight there. I got a, got a hit on the, uh, the visual. Too slow to aim in was going to go to the far right, but I saw that the trains were far too long, so I went ahead and took a Hail Mary, and luckily, somehow, landed that, what I believe is underneath a, a railroad tr uh, car, off the distance, securing my nine kills for this game. Um, and as you know, eight to nine kills uh, gets you that, uh, that Radley's, so... Wow, got a couple things there. Got five points towards the uh, the, the operation there to get some monster tanks. I keep on wanting to say monster trucks. <laughs> and uh, got a little little drop action there. And just your kind of standard spreading of salad. Good times. Uh, did pretty well there at 95%. And uh, there's the Radley Walters medal. Um, of course, by default, to get that, you would have gotten the top gun. And there you go. So eight to nine uh, enemy tanks were destroyed. Um, and uh, 14 pens, so 1,300 damage uh, uh, blocked, and 3,126 was the, the damage that I put out there. 47 assisted. Like I said, that number follows me everywhere I go. Anyways, guys, that was a great game. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, it was a real nice way to, uh, to end up, um, you know, start off this week with this video here with the Kaiju. Um, I, I like it a lot. Um, definitely a situational tank, but you know what? You don't have control over some of the situations. You just make do with what you can. Uh, as I scan through the efficiency tab there, showing the different uh, tanks that I have affected their life negatively on their end. But um, you know, if you like this tank, go ahead and get it. All right, guys, I'll uh, catch you later and see you out there. Now, where did my crew go off to? Oh, I see. There they are. Okay, girls, tell them who they are if they're receiving this transmission. You are one of the 47, 47 Ronin. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.